Good afternoon, St. Joseph School families. So if you'll allow me to dad brag for just a moment, I had a really proud dad moment from this past week. So we have a couple of very close family friends in my family, and their two names are Melissa and Doug. Uh, and, and maybe we should like invest in their toys because Melissa and Doug toys have been a big part of our children's experience, experience and they build really good toys that last for a long time and they're very popular in our house. Well, anyway, we were out shopping for books about four months ago and we came across, uh, our kids came across this Melissa and Doug ice cream set. And it was a really nice toy. I mean, I could see where their imagination was going with it. It was also an expensive toy and we didn't have the money in the budget for that right now. And it, it was just time in the day to say no, which was a very unpopular choice. Uh, but my wife had this great idea, told my kid at the time, ask for that for your birthday and remember that. And so that really helped us in that moment. But I was thinking at the time, yeah, that's great. His birthday is in four months. He's going to forget about the toy. He's going to want some other toy by then. So a month after that, we started asking him, what do you want for your birthday? And immediately the ice cream set came up. And we've had many conversations since then as, what are you going to ask for? What do you want for your birthday? And by golly, the ice cream set over and over again came up. So this past week, we celebrated a birthday in the house and sure enough, the, the big birthday present was this ice cream set. And it's been a joy on two levels. One, because watching him play with it after all of this time and watching him really enjoy the toy really kind of hits my heart as a dad. But also, I'm really happy the fact that he had to wait and kind of struggle for that because that's really good too. So it was really, really tempting in the moment to want to cave in and buy the toy. But uh, it's good to know a greater reward happened from waiting for that toy. And I think he enjoys it more now because of that experience. So in Catholic schools, we're very familiar with this because of the concept we call delayed gratification. That's this idea, again, that we need to wait for good things in life. And that struggle and that wait is very good and very healthy for us. Now, the concept of delayed gratification is alive and well here at school. We see this every day. So it might be in, we've got a test a week from now. And you know the best way to prepare for the test is to do 10 or 15 minutes every day. But it's hard to sit down and do that 10 to 15 minutes when the test is seven days out. But we know we'll be happier when we take the test if we do that. Or maybe it's report cards. That those good homework habits and good study habits that we do every single day without seeing a tangible reward really pay off in a few weeks when the report cards come. Or maybe it's in sports that going to practice and going through those drills and those fundamentals really helps you when you have to step onto the basketball court and play the game. The contrast to that is instant gratification. And we know we live in a world where there is more instant gratification, where we can think things or we can want things. And within a few minutes, it's all there for us, which is very convenient, which we like in a lot of ways, but we also know in a lot of ways isn't very good for us. So you may have heard of the, uh, an experiment called the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment back in 1972. And it was this psychological experiment where a researcher brought in a bunch of three to six year old kids, one by one testing them. And he gave them this test and he gave them a marshmallow right in front of them and said, you can eat this right now, but if you wait 15 minutes, I'm gonna go run an errand and come back. And if you have not eaten the marshmallow, you get two marshmallows. So it was this test to see what helped kids delay gratification. And sure enough, some kids in the room, if you ever see camera footage on this, it's, it's quite a sight to see. Some kids in the room hum or sing. Some like tap their fingers or look all around the room. Some cave in and immediately eat and some just wrestle and struggle with this. And after a while, put the marshmallow in their mouth. Well, this test was really designed to look at what things help people in that moment. And they were testing to see, does it help if the marshmallow is in front of them? Does it help if there's a toy to distract them or these sorts of things? But an unintended consequence of the experiment was they followed these kids from the original experiment throughout their life. And in 1990, they checked SAT scores of all of these kids and found a strong correlation between the kids that could wait on the marshmallow and high SAT tests. And then they checked them again in 2011 and they found a strong correlation between a very developed prefrontal cortex and the kids that were able to wait in the marshmallow test, essentially predicting that kids were happier, healthier, did better in life if they could wait on the marshmallow. Which again, comes back to this delayed gratification. And it's not to say that if we tested kids at four or five years old that it would predict the rest of their lives, but it does say something. Good things do happen to those who wait. So 
Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And remember, school and life, always a great opportunity to teach this lesson of delayed gratification because there are a lot of great things in this life worth waiting for. And we know there's a lot of great things in the afterlife definitely worth waiting for. Thank you.